Hi, I'm Andrew McLaren, and I want to help you decorate your classroom for a very affordable rate. So these posters, the images themselves are free, but you'll probably have to print them out either at a print shop or in your building. Administrators are often willing to pay for this if you're a first year teacher. Um, it's a really nice way to get really high quality if you're going from some of these public institutions. And I'll show you how you can find and navigate some of them as well as some of my favorites from these places that I've used in my classroom. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people want to put a ton of student work on the classroom walls. I tend to not do that. I like to have digital like versions of that where a project, all of the projects are viewable on the class website because you can't really fit all of the assignments on there for most classes unless you're an elementary school teacher. Um, so instead of using these walls for showing off student work. I like to have some kind of cool posters around there, maybe some things that we're using in the school, some like norms or uh, procedures that you may use in the classroom or things that you might use for writing, like different resources. But those should also be provided to the students legibly in the assignment. So I tend to not use a lot of my classroom wall space for those things. It's just kind of making it look cool, right? So that's the main target for what I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm going to have all of the links for all of the things I show you available in the uh, the video description. But if you just Google NASA posters, you're going to get a ton of different options. Things from the JPL, um, things straight from NASA's website, like these uh, solarsystem.nasa or spaceplace.nasa or web.nasa and hubblesite.org. All these different things are associated with NASA and they're really, really great resources. My personal favorite of all the posters I had in the classroom came from this series, which they've expanded. Um, it's kind of like a retro uh, style, art style, where they really have a heavily emphasized art focus in these. I think I had like this Kepler, and this like the super earth <laughs> and a couple of those around the classroom. And I remember some of my behavior problem students years later, I, I had heard back from one of them and they still remembered these posters and staring at these posters in my classroom. They're just one of those things that really catches kids eyes and their imagination. I'm a big fan of this from the, uh, the jet propulsion lab. They have a ton of different things in this style. But this is really where I've seen it um, done first. And you can get these and you can get you can like download them, I believe. All right. So to print these, what you need to do is you click on the image, you go to full image details, and then it will give you the option to download the JPEG. And that should be in the aspect ratio that you would see for most posters. So that's one way to get these images and you can just save that to your device. Um, and then you can send that to your print shop or whatever you're doing to print these. Uh, there's also the um, this Solar System Beyond poster set. So they have a slightly more realistic version of these things being depicted, like the different planets. So if you're like, I want just one of Mercury and I just want this particular version of Mercury and I want it really big, then you can download that there. And so they've got all those download links there on the website. Uh, so you can get these individual ones, which would be what I would recommend to do as opposed to trying to get like just like the giant one with everything. Um, this like if you can get this one, this one's pretty sweet because it's got things actually to scale, which is never shown in <laughs> in space images, right? So there's some cool things that NASA has that you can have in your classroom to get kids thinking about science. There's also this thing called the Space Place. This is a little bit more like traditional classroom posters that you would see um, in the classroom. And you can get those uh, just downloaded onto the computer and then you can print those out from there. A uh, similar sort of thing, you can then have this be like a JPEG or some other file that you download and you've got that on the computer um, and you can work with that. And they have a number of different things that you can then search for and be like, I want things specific for this. And then that can help you with finding resources relative to that. Um, I think that this page that I've got right here is the posters page. 
So that's going to be more specific for what we're talking about today. Um, there's also the Webb and the Hubble telescopes have incredible images. They have some art style ones that you can get and download those straight from there. But what is really cool is they have some actual images from these telescopes, which you can get in really high quality and then get those printed out and put on your classroom walls. And if if kids are anything like at your school or anything like the ones in my school, they love these these high quality images. They're just absolutely beautiful and incredible to look at. And they've got both the Hubble and the Webb um, telescopes up here so you can see their posters. I remember when I started teaching, I was using this and um, I got a couple of them printed out. And that's that is honestly one of the better um, posters to have in a classroom because kids they kind of know what's going on with this but they don't fully and they get really curious and they ask questions about it so that's nasa and what you can do for them so pbs is a great option for all teachers not just those science teachers so you can see in here that we have like the pbs kids they have posters specifically for american sign language as well as the broad things that you would expect to see in an elementary school classroom like your different colors, um, shapes, days of the week, all that stuff. Um, I like the, I think they have like the feelings one, which is, you know, kind of that social emotional learning, a common thing that you see in these. So they've got like nice high quality made things for us to be able to print out and put on our walls. Uh, you can also, in addition to that, you can search by grade and subject area. So there's a ton of different resources. I've also found the American Read, so I've seen some of these um, posters before. They're pretty common, some of these things. Uh, and they've got classical books and cool covers that you can get for posters in your classroom. And these are made to be 18 by 24 inches, so they're made specifically to be printed out. And they have some pretty high quality stuff on here. In addition, when you go to the search, you can um, Let's just go to the PBS Learning. If you go to the, I think it's the advanced search in here. Yeah, you can search by grade level and resource type. So you can say like, I want an image and I want it to be for sixth to eighth grade. And it should help you search through this and find some things that could be printable. Um, not everything is going to be printable. There's some things that aren't really like posters and some things that are a little bit better uh, fit for what you're trying to cover. So you can search through the different subjects that you're going to maybe be doing. Um, if you want to have some measurement stuff, you can also find some things to display in your classroom around measurement, um, all that stuff, right? So that you can have a searchable image gallery that you can look through. That's not as ideal as some of the stuff that's like specifically made for posters, like the um, these classroom poster sets but I believe that we should be able to search in here and look for like posters. So yeah, we can find like specific things. You can Google specific. So, so you could be like maybe like design poster, something like that. And it could give you things specific to what you're trying to find. Um, and then they've got like different poster galleries in here that you can then look at and they should have some resources that work for what you're trying to do. Um, they have like a little quiet zone. <laughs> uh, so there's a number of different interesting things that you can find on PBS through their different um, options to search through their learning media. So another great resource that you can use here is National Geographic, which has a ton of things for you to search through that you could then print out. Now you could do maps as well as infographics. And I really liked how these things you could then just directly download from here. And oftentimes they have like a lesson that accompanies it or gives you some more information about it. But for example, this, this one right here, it's a PDF. And so you can just download it as a PDF. And then that should allow you to then send that to a print shop and get that printed out. So this could be something that you have printed out on your classroom wall um, or something like that. And they've got things for all these different subject areas like history and, and science and tons of things, tons of options. 
The National Geographic also has something called the Map Maker, which is a really cool tool where you can add on top of one map different um, different layers of data. So you can have volcanic eruptions, you can have maybe um, like American Indian reservations, all kinds of interesting maps that you might feel like you want to have displayed in your classroom or like have different information displayed concurrently at the same time. So there's a couple different things that you can put on here. Um, and it looks like we can, uh, what is it? We don't want to add layer. We want to believe we can get rid of some of these. Yeah, we can delete certain ones and have other aspects on there. And then you can export exactly what you're looking at, or you can get a little screenshot. So if you're just interested in one state or part of the US that you wanted to do, you can um, do a little screenshot. You're like, I'm only interested in the reservations in this part. Then you can do that. And you can get a downloaded image, which could you could then be used to make a poster as well. Now the aspect ratio is not gonna be perfect, but we can adjust as needed and refine that and get the information that we're looking for from a map made on this for free and then make it in the dimensions that you're looking for. So in my first classroom, there was an old topographic map in like the science storage area of that town from 50 years ago. And I thought it was the coolest thing to be able to show students. And it came from the USGS and they have on their website, they've got this topo view map viewer, which allows you to select an area and say like, oh, okay, I want to have topographic maps from this area and it'll give you like the the box <laughs> that the survey is going to be of and then you can select the year um it will give you the option to display it on here but if you're trying to then print this out for a classroom poster you're going to want a jpeg or some other relevant file and what i was thinking would be really cool is if you had a couple different posters over time of the same place showing how that city has expanded um, throughout different times and also that topography has changed slightly because if you look at like the Willamette River it's moved slightly over time it hasn't stayed in the exact same swirls um, and so that's kind of interesting to look at that over time you can get different maps like for example this one you can then display and see it's like oh it's pretty similar but then let's go to like maybe 1960s and it should be a little bit different with what they're displaying so there's like <laughs> a whole new smaller area that they're displaying here that's a little bit more detailed and it looks like now there's like a city <laughs> as opposed to not having one beforehand so you can get your different maps and get like their topographic lines with the different streets and everything on there it's pretty cool what you can get from here and these things print out very nicely as well they're especially the older ones kids like the old school stuff so I really like how they've got this uh, built in here so you can see the topographic maps and get them printed out in these really cool looking things. The Smithsonian has a number of resources that may be useful for making posters or decorating your classroom. Unfortunately, these aren't they don't have images as a type that you can search on here, but there are a, a number of ways to do with their search. Um, you can then look for specific things on their website around a certain topic and you can see images there and um, that is a pretty useful tool so searching for the word poster is not that useful but you can get some really great images of space or nature or history from their databases that so they've got just tons and tons of stuff on there so you may be like oh wow that's that sound that looks really cool i want to have that old device displayed in my classroom so you could choose to do that and get that from here i believe that if you just hit the download here then you can get the high resolution yeah jpeg of that and then you can have that on display in your classroom so there's a couple different options to get high quality images that you could then print out from your print shop um, as well as there's this teaching tools and resources page, which has a number of teaching posters available. And these, the teaching posters are basically a really interesting image with some reading or lesson that goes with it. But you could just take this first page and put that on your wall 
as as something that you're trying to get printed um that you have the that they have given you access to downloading these things anyway so you can put them on your classroom um as long as you're not like trying to sell them or something it should be fine um, they also have, I found like this Latin arts teaching posters. So they've got specific poster series here that you might find some interesting things that you want to put on your classroom walls. Um, so there's a couple options from the Smithsonian. They have these specific poster sets, but there isn't a ton of like posters. It's not as easy to navigate as these other sites, but there's definitely some really good images um, from here that you may be able to get access to. So the last option that I want to show you is Wikimedia Commons, which is a really cool uh, resource that lets you see things that where the license for the image has been put out there, usually underneath these Creative Commons licenses. And there's different versions of that, which will give you like unfettered access to the image to use as you feel freely to, and other ones have more limits on that. So you do need to read a little bit about how these things have been published and also be aware that not everything that they say that you have rights to, you actually have rights to. So there's some things on here that it may be a little bit not right to publish and turn into a printed image um, without paying the author. So just keep that in mind with the Wikimedia, do your homework about the image, see if you can find it published in other places or if there's anything else related to that but you should be able to use images from Wikimedia and then turn those into posters. Um, just be aware that it isn't like as reputable as something like the Smithsonian or uh, USGS, which is only gonna put their stuff on their site. So just be aware of that. This is a pretty good option. Uh, you can search for things like space or like nature or anything you can do like a math math poster. I don't think I've done too much math in the video. So you could get some different posters that you might then be able to put into your classroom, um, depending on what you're teaching, right? So there's a couple different things that you can then incorporate from here into your classroom, but just be aware about that copyright image issue that may be coming into play here with some of these. Thank you for McLearning with me. Before you go, please check out the following services that I offer with my business. So if you click the link in my videos, this goes to my website. I might be changing it from Podia because I'm no longer doing the interactive videos for sale. I might put those up for free, um, but most of my other services are linked here. So you can see that I've got like a Teachers Pay Teachers and a Wiseant. Um, the Teachers Pay Teachers has a lot of my assessments that I have for like the NGSS as well as lessons that I made when I was actually a teacher in the classroom. So I've got quite a few things like CERs and other things on there. Um, if you want to get one-on-one -on -one live support from me, either like with science or like working on um, like teaching support lessons and that kind of stuff, uh, you can sign up through Wiseant. I have a link to there where you can contact me there. Um, and we can schedule hourly appointments. Um, and I've got a few other things on here like a Facebook page um, and our social media. And if you're interested in getting professional development with me for like a team of teachers, a whole page with information on that. So yeah, feel free to check that out. Um, thank you.